Commit to this spiritual breakfast unto you, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I want to return all the glory for all the previous spiritual breakfasts, for the miracle one, signs and wonders you performed in our lives, for deliverance, healing, salvation, and restoration, and for everything you did in our lives. I return all the glory, all the honor. All our glory shall praise our thanks in Jesus' name, and I ask that, Father, you will do the same today. That, Father, you will touch lives like never before. In the name of Jesus, I return all the glory, all the honor. All our glory shall praise our thanks in advance unto you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Yes, you are welcome to Spiritual Breakfast, a program that prepares you for your daily blessings and daily breakthroughs. We are still on Let There Be Light. Today is 71st, 71 break brokers of Let There Be Light. And our test is taken from Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. There is someone watching this program, there's someone watching this broadcast, there's someone watching this video. In the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus, and by the mandate of heaven upon my life, by the power invested in me, God will shine his light upon you. God will shine his light upon you. And whatever has been hindering you shall melt away in the name of Jesus. Rimo Shakanda, Rimo Rakimando, Rimo Shakando, Rimo Rakanda. Re kamando rimor kora kimando shi kala rama hakimando rimor kondo rama handa rimor kora kimando shi kala rimor kora kamando rimor kondo. And by the mandate of heaven upon my land, the powers invested in me. I declare I command and I prophesy in the name that's above every name. Whatever is standing between you and the fulfillment of your destiny, whatever is standing between you and your fulfillment of your destiny. I command in the name that's above every name in the name of Jesus. I command by the mandate of heaven upon my life and the power invested in me. I command them your prudent and protected forever in the name of Jesus. Ramo Shakanda Rima Kimando Rimo Rukonora Kanda. Rikamanda Rimo Kora Kimando Rimo Rukono Shikanda Rimo Kora Kanda. I command them your protected forever in the name of Jesus. I command them your protected and destroyed forever in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And by the mandate of heaven upon my land, the power invested in me, I declare a command and a professor, every principality, every power, every rulers of darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high places, every serpent and every scorpion, every powers of the enemy, oh, every occultic power, satanic power, marine power, demonic powers, and demon powers, oh, standing against your destiny. And the fulfillment of the plans and purpose of God for your life. And in the name that's above every name, I command in the name that's above every name, in the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, I begin, I command them to be uprooted out of your life. I command them to be uprooted and uprooted forever in the name of Jesus. 
I have commanded them to be uprooted and uprooted forever and be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Rimo Shakana Rikanda. Rima Mamando Rimokura Kando Rimokura Rikando Shanda Rikamanda. Rama Hando Rimokura Kimando Rimokura Kando Rimokura Kimando. Rima Manda Ramaha Kamando Rimokura Kando Shanda Rimokura Kimanda. Rikamando Rimokura Kimando Rimoro Kondo Rimokono Rimokura Kamanda. I command them to put her forever in the name of Jesus. Rimo Shakando Rimoro Kora Kanda Rimokondo. Rikanda Rimoro Kora Hikanda Shakando Rimokondo. By the mandate of heaven upon my land, the power was invested in me. I declare and I declare that I demand and I command it. And I prophesy in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy in the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus. Every, all, every altar, every shrine. Every altar, every altar of your father's son, every shrine, every cold, every evil port, every city port, every cavern, every evil cooking port, speaking against your destiny, speaking against your life, whether they be in the second heaven, whether they be in the first heaven, whether they be in the heavens on the earth, in the earth, whether they be in the grounds, whether they be in the waters, in the river, in the sea, in the ocean, whether they be, oh, whether they be in the strong city, strong tower, strong house, whether they be in the camps of darkness, uh, burning camps of darkness, or called the camps of darkness, satanic camps of darkness, witchcraft camps of darkness, or oh, demonic camps of darkness, whether they be in the castles of darkness, uh, whether they be in the the habitations of darkness, uh, wherever they are, Gando Rimo Shakanda Rimo Kondo, Rikanda Rimo Rokora Kimando Shikanda Ramahakanda, whether they be in the grave, ancient graves, uh, whether they be in the sun, in the moon, in the star, Gando Rimo Shakanda Rimo Kora Kanda, Rikamando Rimo Kora Kimando Rimo Shakanda Rimo Kondo. Rakanda Rimokura Kimano Rimokura Kanda by the mandate of heaven upon my life, by the powers invested in me, I command the heaven to open and I command the heaven to rain down the rain of icy fire and the rain of fire and bristle upon them. And I command them to be roasted to ashes. Rimo Shakanda Rimokura Kanda. I call on the fire of the Holy Ghost. I call on the rain of icy fire and the rain of fire bristle from heaven to fall upon them and destroy them. Rose them to ashes and destroy them forever. Rimo Shakanda Rimo Kondo. Rikanda Rimo Kondo Rimo Kondo Rimo Kondo Hakanda. Rimo Shikanda Rama Hakimando Rikando. Rimo Kondo Rikando Rimo Kondo Hakanda. I command them be destroyed forever. I command them be destroyed forever. I command them be destroyed forever. And destroy permanently forever. And destroy permanently forever. I command them to become heaps of ashes. Rimo Shakanda Rimo Kondo. Rikanda Rimo Kondo Rimo Kondo Rimo Kanda Ramahando Rimo Kondo Rimo Kondo Hakanda Rimo Shikamando Rimo Kondo Hakanda and I command them be destroyed forever, forever concerning you in the mighty name of Jesus. Rikando Rimo Shakando Rimo Kondo Hakanda in the mighty name of the decrees done in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And I decree that that which God has done in the life and all the powers that have been uprooted and all the altars shrine and coping, all the evil altars shrine and coping, everything speaking against your life that God has destroyed, I decree shall destroy forever. And I decree that destruction shall last forever in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, man. James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself therefore unto God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. We have dealt with giving. Giving for the kingdom expansion as a way of enabling the light of God to shine upon us and to shine off upon us perpetually. We have also discussed about giving to orphans, giving to the needy, giving to the widows. And we are going to talk about sacrificial giving today. We are going to talk about sacrificial giving today. What is sacrificial giving? Sacrificial giving is when we give a seed to God. A seed that will cause us to bleed. A seed that will cause us to bleed. A seed that will convenience us when we give sacrificially. Mostly financially that will cause us to be inconvenienced. That is too heavy for our hands to be released. That we that we inconvenience us mightily. Sacrificial giving is when we give. The giving that will cause us pain. 
the king that will destabilize, uh, destabilize our financial budget and cause us to, 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 to have some form of pain that is sacrificial giving. Most times when we, when, when we have prayed and nothing happens, we have fasted and nothing happens, sir. We have fasted and we have praised God as we ought to pray. We have prayed God, we have prayed giving God serious praise. We have praised God intensely and, and nothing happens. God will provoke us sir, to give sacrificially, to give sacrificially. And that when we give sacrificially, God is provoked. And God is provoked to help us. Our Lord Savior Jesus Christ gave his life as a sacrifice and took it as a sacrifice for to, to reconcile us back to God. God sacrificed only begotten Son. Like Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. And he was crucified, shed his blood on the cross of Calvary for the remissions of our sins. Like, and to reconcile us back to God. Like, no matter what we give, we cannot give God because God gave his best. Like, and when we give our best, he's seen as sacrifice. He's seen as a sacrifice I give him. In the mighty name of Jesus. When we give sacrificially, we provoke God and get provoke God to, to act positively on our behalf. When we pray and nothing, like I said, when we pray and nothing happens, we give nothing, we pray, nothing happens, we fast, nothing happens, we praise God intensely and nothing happens. God will provoke us and lay in our hearts uh, to give sacrificially unto Him uh, and so that He can bless us. Uh, if God wants us something, God wants us to give something that will cost us something so that He can bless us, sir. He can bless us mightily in the name of Jesus. That God, when we give to that level, God is provoked sir, to act and to hack into our prayer request. In the Bible, we saw an example of Hannah. Hannah was barren and he came to Shiloh and he was bitter in her soul. And he prayed unto, the, unto God and he wept sore. He wept bitterly. And he, broke, and he made a vow to God. If you will give me a male child, I will bring back that child unto you. I will give back that child unto you. So that the child will serve you. So that the child will minister in your presence. And God heard because that was sacrificial giving. He's asking God to give him a promised child that he will donate back to God. And God answered him and, went and gave, him, gave her a child, a male child. God gave her a male child. That is sacrificial giving and God answered her prayers. We also saw, that word that, that, that I said just now in the, the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 9 to 28, you can see it there. In 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 3 to 14, we saw Solomon. The Bible says, and Solomon loved God and walked in the status of his father David. And Solomon prayed unto God, <coughs> God Solomon went to Gibeon. And gave a thousand bond offering unto God. He gave a thousand bond offering to God. God was pleased by his by his by, by the sacrifice he made. And God appeared to him in a dream and asked Solomon, "What will I do for you?" And Solomon asked for wisdom. And not only because God was provoked by the sacrifice of Solomon, by the bond offering he offered, God was provoked. And God not only gave Solomon the wisdom he demanded, God gave him riches, sir. God gave him riches, sir. God gave him riches. God gave Solomon riches beyond his imagination. And God gave him honor so that there was not a king like God, like Solomon throughout his days on earth in the name of Jesus. And God wants us to form a baby to live a life of sufficient and giving. God wants us to give once in a while as a sacrifice, something that will cost us something, so that he can give us something that will make us happy. When we give some God something that costs us pain, God will give us something that will give us joy. Something God will give us something that will give us peace and joy. Joy unspeakable will be our portion in the name of joy. When we live a life of holiness and the life of righteousness and we give sacrificially, God arises in on our behalf he rises in his mercy and compassion to grant us our request. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want you, God, if you read, you know, if you, God told Solomon, if you live holy and you obey my words and my commandment and my statutes, he said, there will never be anyone like you all the days of your life. And Solomon enjoyed peace all around. Solomon enjoyed peace all around. And he lived a life of wisdom. Wherever you are and you, and you know of a truth, of a shorty that you do not know God, I want to plead to you. We are talking about God arising for you and shining his light upon you so that your life will be pleasant. Your life will be a life of miracles, signs and wonders. Your life will be a life of joy unspeakable. Your life will be a joy of prosperity beyond your imagination so that God will arise on his behalf and bless you beyond your imagination. And that is what we are talking about this morning. When you holiness and righteousness and making the peace with God is the number one first step. And if you know you have never known Jesus as your Lord and Savior and Master, wherever you are listening to me, wherever you are, I want you to go in obedience to God. Go on your knees and confess all your sins and ask God for forgiveness. And I'm sure God will arise in this mercy and compassion, will forgive your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness, and you will partake of God's blessing. God will beam his light upon you and shine his light upon you, and your life will begin to manifest the glory of God. Your life will begin to be blessed beyond imagination. You will begin to know riches, and God will give you the treasures of blackness and the hidden riches of this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, do that quickly. I want to decree concerning you in the name that's above every name. The name of Jesus, I declare and I prophesy that henceforth, as you live it, as you love the Lord God Almighty. With all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your body. And you live a life of holiness and righteousness. That God will give you a life. And you live a life of holiness. And a life that is holy. Acceptable unto God. Which is a reasonable service. And present yourself and your body as a living sacrifice. In the name of God. That God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you beyond imagination. As you begin to live the life of Romans 12, verse 1 and 2, God will arise for you. God's light will shine upon you. And God's light will shine upon you perpetually. I begin I command in the name of Jesus. I begin I command by the mandate of heaven upon my life. And by the powers invested in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to prophesy that henceforth you will, as you give, as you Begin to give sacrifices unto God. God will be provoked. Uh, by the, you will provoke the Almighty God. Not only will God hearken to your prayers, not only will God hearken to your prayers, God will bless you beyond your imagination and grant you supernatural, supernatural divine protection in accordance with His word in Psalm 91, verse 1 and 2. God will shine his light upon you perpetually. The light of God will be the beam upon you all the days of your life and beyond your imagination and beyond your generations in the day of just And I decree you shall be mightily blessed. God will bless you as you go out today. God will bless you mightily. The light of God will, be, will shine upon you. You will enjoy peace like never before. In the mighty name of just we God will bless you. The heaven will shower blessings, sir. Favor and prosperity upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. This is where our program will end today. And I will see you same time tomorrow, 5 a.m. Nigerian time. Oh, God will bless you. God will bless you. And I want you to forward this video to all the people you know so that they can also be blessed. God bless you and God bless you mightily. In Jesus' name, I see you same time tomorrow, 5 a.m. Nigerian time. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Congratulations.